What's up, guys? My name is Kiata. Back at you guys with a little one today. You know how it's going. Hope you guys are staying high, staying lifted, man. Hope you guys are smoking all these, you know, joints. Whatever you guys are doing, you know, blunts. I hope you guys are rolling up good shit. And uh, got that dang, man, because uh, I'm off that shit right now. I'm off that dang. So, all right, let me get into the video, man. So, you can see by the title, this shit's going to be some lit shit. So, this is Flubro Mazalim and an MDMA combo review. And, yeah, man. Without further ado, let me get right into it. So, this combo is essentially, you know, putting a blanket turn on. It's just MDMA with a benzo, you know, combo. So, but this one in particular, because it lasts so long, uh, it's a little more euphoric than uh, Xanax, believe it or not. So, when you take it with MDMA, you can only imagine. It actually doesn't really kill a roll. As long as you take a little, if you don't take a lot, you just got to take enough. And it won't really kill the roll at all, man. So yeah, check it out when if you if you ever get both of them in hand, it will definitely help. It also help with the uncomfortable feelings with the roll and like the come up. So it'll get rid of all that bullshit, and you'll be feeling lit. So yeah, man. I don't know what happened really. I just knew that I was just fucked up this night. So I just remember dosing this shit around. You know, I I dosed the MDMA first, right? And the point was, or did I do the, I think I did the, I'm not sure if I was on a flu, bro, but I think I did the MDMA first, but, uh, not long after I did that, you know, you know, want to actually, like, I got the urge to take flu, bro, so I was like, all right, I took it, like, 30 minutes after the MDMA, and by the time the MDMA started kicking in, so, flu, bro, it's interesting, because I feel like with this research chemical benzo, it takes longer for it to come up because it's a longer acting benzo. So it's similar to acid. Where the come up is longer, it's a little more extended. Believe it or not, it takes probably like an hour for you to at least start feeling the main effects of this uh, flubromazolin. So ideally, you want to take it before the MDMA. So I think, I'm not really sure because I mean, I was on that shit. So I don't remember. You know, definitely, definitely a lot more memory loss with that. Research chemicals, so uh, keep that in mind, man. Anyways, so for the night, man, dude, I was just lit. Like, I think 45 minutes later, I felt I was feeling both, but obviously, the MDMA was actually overpowering the benzo, believe it or not, because I got some good shit. So, this shit was just really strong, man. And I'm like, holy shit, this shit's overpowering. And I'm like, oh man, I'm just like laying down. And, like, I just get these rushes, right? And the euphoria is so much more intense when it's, like, calmed down, in a way. Like, it's a lot more easy to tolerate the MDMA. And it's crazy waves of euphoria. But at the same time, it actually causes more euphoria. So, yeah, it doesn't really kill the roll. But it does kind of, like, numb the roll a little bit. But not in a bad way, honestly. This is a really good combo. Uh, I think Xanax MDMA would be worse. But for some reason, because this one's so strong... They can't kill each other, you know? Like, MDMA can't completely kill the, uh, the uh, fucking flu, bro, because it's so strong. And MDMA itself is so strong. So, flu, bro, can't even kill MDMA. And that really says something that the most potent benzo available can't even kill a roll for MDMA. I mean, I probably could if you took enough, but taking a normal dose with MDMA, it's not going to kill a roll at all, man. Especially if you have a tolerance. Because usually, I mean, why would you be using flu, bro, without a tolerance already? A yeah, really dumb idea. You know, if you are, really start low, man. Don't ever fucking, well, actually, don't even fuck with it. It's not worth it, man. There's a lot of better shit. Bromazolam, for instance, that uh, is a lot more, less addicting than flu bromazolam. So, anyway, so, MDMA, man, this shit was lit, man. I had some really pure shit. I remember I got it from uh, some stores. Uh, they said they sourced it from the Netherlands, man. And then whenever you get stuff from the Netherlands, thank you, motherfucking Molly on the planet. All right, <laughs> no strings attached. But anyways, I don't know. It's just the put the best MDMA that I think is available on the planet. I mean, like, come on now, like the shit comes out of those labs, man. Oh man, the purity and the way it's sourced, you know, it's just crazy, man. It's lit, and man, man, I really love that shit. But anyways, so yeah, I just don't know what else did I do, man. Oh, shit, yeah, so, 
basically for the rest of the night, I was just feeling myself listening to music, man. I was just like, raving up in my room, pretty much. I grow cactus in my room, so fucking I was just tripping out on that shit. And then I was like, looking around me. And honestly, the waves of euphoria were kind of going away after like three hours. But the flu, bro, Mazelan really just was the other high. Like, it really just extended the whole entire, I guess, the chill feeling you get from the MDMA. It extended all of that. And it was real, real, real fun, man. I really liked that. Anyways. Yeah. If you ever do this combo, it is lit, man. It's just like doing a regular benzo with MDMA. If you ever done that. And, uh, yeah, man. It really chills out the crazy side effects you might get from this substance. So, yeah, man. It's really good for that. And, yeah, man. You know how it is. If you ever done it. But, anyway, so. Yeah, I was just going, like, basically retarded this night. I'm pretty sure I looked like a motherfucking zombie. I probably looked goddamn rolling my tits off, man. Like, oh, shit. Like, if you saw me in the street, you'd be like, this dude, this this dude tweaking, man. <laughs> I mean, I was probably gone. But, hey, you know, that's that's the joy of being alone. No one's going to judge you, man. <laughs> so, yeah, for the rest of the night, man, I was lit. MDMA and Flubromazolam is a really good combo. If you ever trying to try that shit out, man, do it sometime because, I mean, you won't be, I mean, you won't regret it at all. Like, you won't be regretting anything. It's going to make you feel good. It's make you feel, I mean, right, uh, calm. I mean, it's going to get rid of any muscle tension that MDMA might give you because I know that shit, I don't know what the fuck is up with it sometimes, but that shit gives you some muscle tension and it just doesn't feel comfortable in general. Like, honestly, sometimes it really doesn't. And it doesn't matter if it's more pure or not. So, anyways, it's always good to have some shit on hand, you know, make your shit calm. Make you feel, I guess, more in your body because it kind of lowers your inhibitions. So, it makes you more accepting of the MDMA effects, honestly. And for some reason, yeah, it really did something really cool to my body, man. <laughs> the body high really added a lot to it, man. I was really surprised, man. So, it's real, it's real cool, real cool. So let me get to, I guess, the main effects I got. I got this intense euphoria. My body felt warmer. Uh, I can't tell if it's actually... I mean, for harm reduction, this... I mean, it's actually not really too dangerous to do both together. I don't believe it is. But just in case, be careful. Because you are combining, you know, two substances. So one thing you could be careful with with is don't take too much of a benzo. Don't take too much of the benzo thinking that you won't, f- like, won't feel it. Because then if you're on MDMA, you, th- you know, it's a stimulant, so it's going to make you not feel it, uh, you know. So it could be a bad combo. So, yeah, keep your dosage in mind and never go up more than 0.25 of that flubromazolam. And, yeah, MDMA, I guess you could probably do whatever dosage you do for your roll. So, but don't ever exceed that either because it's not a good idea, man. But uh, if you do, yeah, flu bro, take some flu bro because you're gonna need it if you're coming down from redosing MDMA. Uh, that, that that's also oh I forgot to mention yeah that's also very good use. Uh, in redosing, yes, you want ideally something that's probably gonna get rid of the side effects or at least lessen them. So this is a really good substance for that because when you're redosing, you know it's gonna you're gonna at least be rolling for what fucking eight to twelve hours. So yeah, flu bro is totally good. Totally good to do dose it right before redosing, you know, like before you get into that regimen, like before you take the first dose, before you redose, you just dose the flubromazolam first, and then you take the MDMA, and you know, whatever, hour, 30 minutes later, you take, you know, the second redose, and it won't feel as bad, I, it really won't uh, get rid of side effects, muscle tension, and all that bullshit that you don't want, man, so it's fucking lit, man, take it from me, 10 out of 10 combo. I must admit, that shit's fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also, I don't know what. Man, dude, so many subscribers came into the channel lately. I gotta say, I welcome you guys. I am very happy that everyone subscribed. You know, I'm very thankful for everybody on my channel, man. I, I like to thank you guys so for supporting this shit. And, you know, we are taking off, man. Hope you guys stay hot, stay lifted, man. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I'm thinking I'm starting a uh, merchandise stuff. I mean, like, sooner than that, like, when I get more, like, subscribers, like, probably when I get to 10,000. But, 
yeah, stay high, stay lifted would be a good logo. Keep in mind that that will be probably one day. And, you know, yeah, keep on the lookout for that, man. So I hope you guys are staying high, stay lifted. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.